Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This is my kitty, Maury. He's actually my husband's cat from before we met, but obviously he's like half mine now. Um, but he wanted to say hi. I usually keep my door closed because these guys are so destructive in the beauty room. They love to like hop on things and he'll like sit on piles of paper that I have on the floor, things like that. But he wanted to say hi and he's in here. So in case you guys are animal lovers, that is one of our cats. We actually have two and then we have a puppy as well. If you guys are interested, they do have their own Instagram account. I will put the name right here. It's at the Harris Pets on Instagram. So if you're interested, go ahead and follow them. Anyway, I'm sure you guys are here to see what I will be returning to Sephora after I shopped the VIB sale. There were a lot of hits and a few misses, so I thought it would be fun for me to go ahead and talk to you guys about what those are. I also had some things I had picked up along the way and they weren't working out for me, so I decided to take them back to Sephora because I wasn't getting any use out of them. So with all of that, let's get into this video. Now guys, I don't want to go on like a broken record, but I do have a giveaway that is on my channel right now. I'm giving away a little ColourPop X My Little Pony palette. I just want to say thank you to you guys. We passed 800 subscribers, so I'm so, so excited for what the rest of the year might bring. And I just wanted to say thank you, so go ahead and enter that. If you've ever watched any of my videos, I would love to say thank you so much for the support. Also, quick disclaimer on this video, I do return makeup, guys, because I pay for this makeup and some of it doesn't work and you can take back makeup. So if you're not satisfied with the product, you paid for it, you have a receipt, definitely feel free to take it back to Sephora because why the heck not? So let's get into it. I actually, look at me, I'm so prepared. I made myself a list. I have a box that I've been accumulating of products I need to take back. So the first thing on here I don't have anymore, but I did buy the YSL All Hours Full Coverage Matte Foundation in the shade Amber. And I actually had to take that back because the shade was wrong. I was so excited for that foundation because I had heard nothing but good things. And I was actually really disappointed because when I took it into the store, one of the representatives at Sephora was like, what were you expecting? It's a French brand or European brand or something. And I was like, well, that doesn't mean they shouldn't accommodate different skin tones. So I was really disappointed that you know, it was almost like expected, like what were you thinking silly girl? And that really like threw me off and was very off-putting. I have cat hair on my face now. Anyway, it was an almost $60 foundation. It was actually $58 and there's no way I could get that to work. So I just took it back and in case I did mention, the shade I got was amber and I think it was just too light on me. So I did end up taking it back. Another thing I need to take back, and I haven't taken them back yet, so I can show them to you here. These are the Cover FX Contour Kits, and I picked up two shades because I wasn't sure which one I would be. I ended up trying, I think, the medium one, but I also got medi light medium. And I was excited to get these on sale because these were part of the Sephora Weekly Wow. In case you guys didn't know, every week Sephora has a few different products that are very, very discounted, so you can get them on a really good deal. And personally, I like the Cover FX products, so I thought, hey, I'll try it out. And these were just very dry. There are. There are cream formulas, so I was expecting them to be nice and buttery, but they weren't. And I was pretty disappointed, so I will definitely be taking these back because ain't nobody got time to keep makeup that they don't like. Next thing I will be taking back is the Natasha Denona Lila palette. Now, I haven't even reviewed this yet on my channel. I have everything ready. I've tested the palette out. I just have, like, no motivation to film on this palette. You guys, I really, like, somebody needs to check me the next time I buy a Natasha Denona palette because I don't like Natasha Denona palettes, and I don't know why I keep buying them. Luckily, those holiday palettes almost reeled me in, and I was like, Karen, no. <laughs> so I didn't buy them, but... Honestly, it's like, what, what, why do I keep buying these palettes? They're so bad. You know what I mean? Next thing I'm taking back is the Becca Ultimate Coverage Complexion 
in the shade Olive. Now this again was the wrong shade. I'm actually wearing another shade of this foundation. I got a darker color. I think I got amber or something. I can't remember. I'll maybe put it in here if I remember, but I think this color works way better for me. This one was way too light, so it's going back to store. I should have gotten color match, but I honestly never really go into my Sephora because I only have a Sephora inside JCPenney. So I just end up ordering stuff online and then if it doesn't work out, I just kind of take it back, which is not the best thing to do. But with the sale, I was going to order online anyway and take advantage of eBay. So, you know, you just got to do what you got to do. Next thing I'm taking back is the Huda Beauty Full Filter Foundation. Now, I think I actually like this but I've never tried it in my right shade. I got the shade Macchiato, and I need to get a little bit of a darker shade. They just restocked some of the darker shades, so I was able to pick up the foundation that I think might be in my shade. So once I have that in hand, I'll give you guys a full review, but even with this lighter shade, I really liked it. I think it's a very full coverage foundation. If you have dry skin, you might hate it. I personally do have dry skin, but I love matte foundations, so I make them work. Even this one is so matte, like it's insane. I definitely had to put on like a Sunday Riley oil before I put this on just because of how cold it is where I live. But if I can make it work in basically Alaska, you guys can make it work too. I promise you. Next thing I'm taking back is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. And again, this is the wrong shade. I picked up sand. Sand sounded like it would work for me, but it doesn't. It's way too light. It kind of looks gray on me. And I don't know if that's just Too Faced foundations in general because I used to be a really big fan of the Born This Way foundation but I swear sometimes I felt like it was the perfect color for me but then when I looked in the mirror I was like I look gray like I didn't know why and this one does the same thing so I did get a shade darker which I have a feeling is going to be too dark but I'm going to try it out because so many people keep raving about this foundation and so we'll see how it goes if that one doesn't work I'm going to take it back and then I'm going to be done with Too Faced foundations. Okay, so the next thing I'm returning is this Fenty Beauty Colwatt Freestyle Highlighter Duo in the shades Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule. I was really excited to pick up more things from Fenty, but these highlighters are a little bit too dark for me. Definitely look like blush shades for me, and I don't know, I just didn't really enjoy it. The last thing I need is more blush, so I'm just gonna take this back to the store, and this highlighter retails for $34 in case anyone was curious about that. Okay guys, this was a product I just kind of picked up because I had heard Nicole from Young Wild and Polish talk about this. This is the Makeup Forever Brown Liner and I picked it up in the shade 50 and this honestly is just not the product for me. I think if you have very sparse brows you would really like this because you can create really nice brow strokes with this but I have pretty full brows the only thing I use brow powder for is to fill I just like my brows to be like completely opaque so I use brow powder for that and then just use the Anastasia Claire brow gel with this one it looked like I was trying to like play with a marker my brows did not look good and it might just be that there's a learning curve on this product for me but I personally don't really need it either so because it's $23 and I don't think I'm gonna get good use out of it I'm gonna take this back so in case any of you guys are looking for a light hack something I've been doing to make my hair healthier is every Saturday I usually warm up a little bit of coconut oil and give myself like a good scalp massage and kind of just use it to like hydrate my hair and I feel like it's actually making my hair less greasy which makes me so so happy so usually when I do this I use a comb to like comb my hair with all the grease in it and at first I was just using my hairbrush which was a bad idea so I wanted to pick up a little comb and I saw this one on the Sephora website it was six bucks but I expected this to be so much bigger than this and I went to Sally Beauty and I found two for like three bucks so I was like I'm not keeping this like this is stupid you can find something way better for way less cost so I will be taking this back okay guys so this product I was definitely on the fence about I still don't know if I'm for sure gonna take this back because I've always wanted this but once I got it in the mail I realized I have no idea what the heck I'm going to do with this I got it before Halloween so I thought I would maybe do like a makeup look with it for Halloween but I just have no use for this makeup forever flash palette and I've seen people do some really really cool makeup stuff with this but 
for me it just makes no sense to keep this and it's like a hundred dollar palette guys so I don't know if you guys have any tips or videos that I should watch on how to best use this you can definitely leave them in the comments down below but personally I just have no idea what I'm going to do with this and I really don't know what the hell possessed me to buy this palette either okay so the next thing I'm taking back I don't think I put this in a haul video but this is the NARS velvet matte foundation stick now you guys know I'm obsessed with NARS I love their products but this just did not work for me and I was comparing this with the Hourglass foundation stick which is amazing guys if you're looking for a good stick foundation but this was so disappointing my NARS it did not cover my face the way I wanted like I like a good medium to full coverage and this was not it wouldn't like stay put even though I said it I felt like the foundation was moving around the color match was good but everything else was a disaster and I really don't particularly feel like you get a whole lot of product with this either and this foundation is expensive I want to say it's definitely in the $40 range I'm not really sure how much it is so this is going to be going back to store. Okay guys, the next two items I want to talk about in this video are the ColourPop Golden State of Mind palette and the Semi Precious palette. Now, I haven't even reviewed these on my channel yet, but after my swatch video, I pretty much had my thoughts, you know, kind of figured out already. I really wasn't impressed with these palettes. I've heard a lot of people say the Semi Precious one is really pretty, but honestly, you guys, I have these satin shades over and over and over in my collection. Collection. So I just can't justify these two palettes. They're $26 a piece making them both over $50 and it's like you know what I could use $50 in my bank account versus two palettes that I'm never going to touch. So let me know are you guys keeping these palettes because I was personally very disappointed by these ColourPop Sephora launches. Next thing I'm taking back is the Huda Obsessions palette in the shade Smoky. This one actually came broken, which is why I am returning this particular palette. But honestly, I just filmed my review video of these and I did kind of say that I just wanted to, I wasn't really sure if I was loving these. So this one's going back for sure, but I have a feeling I might take the other ones back because palettes are not so great. So if you want to see my review, it's already up on my channel. I will link it up in the cards for you guys to check out. Next thing I'm taking back is the Dry Bar Little Lemon Drop hairbrush. So I actually have the full size one which retails for $16. This is the hairbrush I bought that's 10 bucks. So I was like, oh cool, but honestly guys, this is literally like the smallest effing hairbrush like I've ever seen for $10. Like it's insane. Sometimes I buy hairbrushes from Forever 21. But I did think like the large size of this was really good quality so I was like ooh let me get the mini and put it in my purse because I never carry a hairbrush and I'm like god I have so much hair now I should really have a hairbrush so I can brush my hair but this is so effing tiny that I just cannot justify keeping it and I just got it all dirty because that stupid Huda palette is broken and every time I touch it I keep getting black eyeshadow all over my stuff. So anyway, because of that, I think I'm taking this back. Do you guys have this brush? Like, is it really worth the $10? Because I like the one that's 16 bucks, but at least that makes sense. It's big. This is like miniature. Like, if you have more hair than me, I don't know how the heck you're going to use this to brush your hair. Okay, guys, so the next thing I did return was two things that were Sunday Riley. The good jeans already went back. I think I talked about that in one of my Sephora videos where I kind of just said that it didn't really work for my skin I felt like it definitely emphasized and created texture opened up my pores in a not so flattering way I really tried to use that thing for a really long time and I finally just called it and took it back to Sephora because it was like a hundred and fifty five dollar bottle of good jeans and I just could not justify keeping it the other one I picked up in the recent friends and family sale, this is Flora, which is the hydroactive cellular face oil, and this is supposed to be super, super good for dry skin, but honestly, I feel like the Juno oil is way better for my dry skin, because when I go to bed at night and I put this on, I wake up and my area around my mouth is so tight and dry feeling, and that doesn't happen with the Juno oil, so I'm very confused as to why the oil that's actually made for dehydrated weather weary skin is not as good as just the regular Juno oil. So if you guys are skincare experts, if you could let me know, I'd be really curious to hear 
what the reasoning <laughs> behind that could be because this is a $90 face oil and if it's not going to make my skin feel like a baby's bum every morning when I wake up, then you best believe this is going back to Sephora. Okay, and then the last thing I believe that I'm taking back, I don't actually have up here. I will insert a picture somewhere on the screen, but it's the L'Occitane Four Piece Hand Cream Delights. I am still on the fence about this one because I've always wanted to try their hand creams, but if you see this, guys, it's so tiny. The hand creams literally look like those like professional watercolors that come in the tube that you like squeeze out. So they're super, super tiny. Granted, I only paid $16 for it. I'm like, should I just get something bigger? Should I stick with the small size? What should I do? I'm not really sure yet. So I put it in my return pile because I just don't feel like it's worth the 16 bucks. But you guys let me know. I have never tried anything from L'Occitane as far as like hand creams go. So I'm really curious to see if you guys think I should keep this or return it. Anyways guys, that's everything I wanted to talk about in this video. I just wanted to go over things that I just didn't feel like was worth my money that I had picked up from Sephora recently. Let me know what things you guys are taking back to Sephora. I think it'll be really fun to have a discussion in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to enter my giveaway. All the information is gonna be in the description box down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.